Okay, so here we have the function f of x equals 1 divided by 3x plus 2. And we need to find the domain, the range, the inverse. We're going to compose with the inverse to make sure we get the identity function. Uh, this problem is going to make us work with fractions a little bit. Um, some students have problems with it, so let's work through it. So first, let's find the domain. To find the domain, we look here at, at this function f of x, and we see, is there, are, we, are we taking the square roots of negative numbers as 0? going to be a problem in the denominator or anything of that nature and we see the only issue here is that that we can't have zero in the denominator o otherwise this thing is good all day so that is we need 3x plus 2 to not be zero okay and now you just simply solve for that x uh, subtract 2 from both sides 3x is not equal to negative 2 uh, divide out by the 3 and we get x is not equal to a negative 2 thirds uh, therefore, the domain of f is equal to the set of x's such that, those two little dots, you can read those as such that, so the set of x's such that x is not equal to negative two-thirds. Okay, so that is we can plug any number into this function other than a negative two-thirds because when we plug in a negative two-thirds, uh, we're going to be dividing by zero, which uh, we should know at this point we can't do that. Okay, so the next thing is going to be to find the range. Here's the deal. Ranges are not easy to see just by looking at a function. I can't just look at this function and know what the range is. But if we know a little bit about functions and their inverses, we know that if we find the inverse function, that its domain is the range of the original function. Domains are always relatively easy to see. So to find the range, the first thing I'm going to do is find the inverse find f inverse okay so to find f inverse uh, we just we set f of x equal to y and then solve for x so y equals 1 over 3x plus 2 okay now I need to solve for x so that x is in a denominator anytime I have an x and something in a denominator that I need to get out I multiply by it so let's multiply by 3x plus 2 on both sides Anything we do to one side of the equation, we have to do it to the other side. Okay, and we see the 3x plus 2's cancel here. And here the y distributes to both of them. So we get 3xy plus 2y. What's up, Jess? Equals 1. That's okay. Oh, I'm talking to my wife. She just came in the room. We're making a video here. You want to help out? XYZ. XYZ? Okay. Uh, <laughs> So, I need to solve for this x here, so I've got to get it by itself. So, I'm going to send the 2y to the other side. 3xy equals 1 minus 2y. Now, I want, to get, uh, I want to get x by itself, so I need to get rid of that 3y there. And I'm multiplying, so to get rid of that, I divide out by it. 3y divided by 3y. 3y. Okay? And so with the 3's cancel and the y's cancel, I'm left with x equals 1 minus 2y over 3y. That is f inverse of y equals 1 minus 2y over 3y. That is, if I've done all my work correct, i found the inverse. We'll check it at the end to make sure that it is indeed the inverse. But let's, let's finish this problem first. So now, if I look at the domain of this function f inverse that is the range of the original function <clears throat> because the inverse takes the outputs of f and sends them back home uh, so so the domain of f inverse is clear as I said before domains are typically pretty easy to see the only problem we would have here is if there's a zero in the denominator and how would I get a zero down here the only way to make 3y equal to 0 is if I m multiply by 0, if y is 0. So the domain equals a set of y's such that y is not equal to 0. Because if y is 0, we see I'm going to get a denominator of 0 here. So that, that gives me the range of my function. So the range of f equals y such that y is not equal to 0. Okay, so that's my answer for that part. Uh, go to part C.
What's part C say? Find the formula for F inverse. So I'm just going to say find F inverse. Okay, so we already did that. We did that to work out the other one. So that's going to be what, 1 minus 2y over 3y. So F inverse. 1 minus 2y over 3y. That's what we worked out in the other one. So part D. What's part D say? Uh, find the domain of F inverse. So domain F inverse. We've already done that as well. So the domain F inverse equals um, my domain of inverse is going to be my output. So y, so that's that what? Uh, out there, y is not equal to zero. Part D is going to be Part D says find the range of F inverse. Right, let me just say range of F inverse. Well, the range of F inverse equals the domain of F, which equals X such that, what was the domain of F here? X is not equal to two thirds. Okay, and that finishes the problem.